there's a certain primal fascination with things that go boom. We're drawn to the power, the precision, the potential energy coiled tight, waiting to be unleashed, and few objects embody this fascination like a gun. But how often do we stop and think about the journey from raw materials to the finished firearm? It's a process steeped in history, demanding precision, craftsmanship, and a healthy dose of respect. It's a world of molten metal, screaming machines, and tolerances thinner than a whisper. It's a world where centuries-old traditions meet cutting-edge technology, where the stakes are high and the margin for error is razor-thin. But that's what we're here to explore. The dirty, intricate, and often misunderstood world of how guns are made. So buckle up, put on your safety glasses, and let's dive in. Because whether you love them, hate them, or fall somewhere in between, there's no denying the impact guns have had on our world. To truly appreciate the modern firearm, we gotta take a trip back in time. Imagine a world before assembly lines and CNC machines, a world where guns were literally forged by hand. Early firearms were simple by today's standards, but the skill required to create them was anything but. Blacksmiths would heat iron to molten temperatures, hammering it into shape with an artistry passed down through generations. These early guns were often works of art, adorned with intricate engravings and inlays reflecting the pride and skill of their creators. But as warfare evolved, so too did the demand for faster, more efficient production. The Industrial Revolution brought about a sea change in gun manufacturing. Interchangeable parts became the name of the game, allowing for mass production and easier repairs. The soul of the individual gunsmith might have been lost in the mechanization, but in its place came a new kind of craftsmanship the skill of designing and building the machines that would build the guns. Now let's talk about the building blocks of any firearm, the raw materials. And when it comes to guns, nothing beats good old-fashioned steel. But we're not talking about the stuff they use to build bridges and skyscrapers. Gun steel is a different breed altogether, carefully engineered for strength, durability, and the ability to withstand the immense pressures of firing a projectile. Sourcing the right steel is like finding the perfect ingredients for a world-class meal, it's gotta be just right. Manufacturers work with specialized steel mills that produce alloys specifically designed for firearms. These alloys are a precise blend of iron, carbon, and other trace elements, each added to enhance specific properties. It's a delicate balancing act, like a chemist concocting a potion to achieve the perfect blend of characteristics. With the raw materials in hand, the real transformation begins. This is where we enter the realm of intense heat, deafening noise, and the raw power of industrial forging. Imagine a scene straight out of Dante's Inferno giant furnaces roaring to life, heating steel billets to temperatures that would melt your boots. These glowing hot bars of metal are then fed into massive hydraulic presses and hammers that could crush a car with ease. The steel, now malleable and yielding, is pounded and squeezed into its basic shape. Think of a blacksmith hammering a horseshoe, but on a much larger, more mechanized scale. Each blow of the press or hammer refines the grain structure of the steel, making it denser and stronger. The operators of these machines are like conductors leading an orchestra of heat and pressure, coaxing the steel into its desired form without compromising its integrity. It's a delicate dance between power and precision, a testament to human ingenuity and the relentless march of technology. Once the raw forging cools down, it's time for the next stage machining. This is where the rough shape is refined into the precise components that make up a firearm. We're talking barrels, slides, receivers, trigger groups, all the intricate bits and pieces that need to work together with flawless precision. Imagine a workshop filled with whirring machines, each one dedicated to a specific task. Computer numerical control, CNC machines, guided by complex programs, shave away metal with incredible accuracy, creating the grooves in a barrel, the contours of a slide, the intricate geometry of a trigger mechanism. It's like watching a robotic ballet, each movement precise and calculated. Skilled machinists oversee the process, making sure everything runs smoothly and that the finished parts meet the exacting tolerances required. These are the unsung heroes of the gun-making world, their keen eyes and steady hands ensuring that every component is crafted to perfection. After all, when it comes to firearms, even a thousandth of an inch can make all the difference. Now we're getting to the good part, folks, putting all these meticulously crafted pieces together. This is where the assembly line comes into play, a carefully choreographed dance of human skill and mechanical precision. 
Think of it like a well-oiled machine, with each worker playing a crucial role in bringing the firearm to life. One station might be dedicated to fitting barrels, ensuring a perfect seal and alignment. Another might focus on installing trigger assemblies, testing for the right amount of pull and travel. Down the line, magazines are loaded and cycled, safeties are checked and double-checked. Every step is critical, every component has its place, and every worker plays a vital role in the symphony of assembly. Experienced assemblers develop a feel for the work, a sixth sense for when something isn't quite right. It's this attention to detail, this blend of skill and experience that separates a well-made firearm from a dangerous dud. Before any firearm leaves the factory, it goes through a battery of tests more rigorous than a boot camp drill sergeant. This ain't no time for shortcuts or cutting corners, we're talking about life and death here. Quality control is paramount, and safety is non-negotiable. First up, visual inspections. Every nook and cranny is examined for imperfections. Scratches, dents, tool marks, anything that deviates from the standard is flagged. Then comes the functional testing where the firearm is put through its paces in a controlled environment. This is where they make sure it goes bang when it's supposed to and only when it's supposed to. These guns are subjected to hundreds, sometimes thousands of rounds to simulate real-world use and ensure they can handle the stress. Now, for all you gearheads and mechanically inclined folks, let's pop the hood and take a peek at what makes these things tick. The internal mechanisms of a firearm are a marvel of engineering, a delicate dance of springs, levers, and precisely machined parts working in perfect harmony. Take a semi-automatic pistol, for example. When you pull the trigger, it releases the hammer or striker, which strikes the primer at the back of the cartridge. This ignites the primer, which in turn ignites the gunpowder within the cartridge. The resulting explosion propels the bullet down the barrel with incredible force. Meanwhile, the energy from the shot cycles the action, ejecting the spent casing and chambering a fresh round, ready for the next shot. Revolvers, on the other hand, utilize a rotating cylinder that houses multiple cartridges. Each pull of the trigger rotates the cylinder, aligning a fresh cartridge with the barrel and hammer. The world of gun manufacturing is far from static. Just like every other industry it's constantly evolving, driven by advancements in technology and shifting societal attitudes. 3D printing for example is already making waves, offering the potential for custom-designed firearms, printed on demand. While still in its early stages, this technology has the potential to disrupt traditional manufacturing methods and raise a whole new set of regulatory and ethical questions. Then there's the increasing use of polymers and composites in firearm construction. These materials offer advantages in terms of weight reduction, corrosion resistance, and design flexibility, but they also raise concerns about durability and longevity compared to traditional steel construction. Gun manufacturers are increasingly under scrutiny, facing pressure to implement stricter safety measures, develop smart gun technology, and address concerns about the accessibility of firearms. It's a tightrope walk, balancing innovation with responsibility, profit with public safety. So there you have it folks, a glimpse into the intricate and often misunderstood world of gun manufacturing. It's a world where centuries-old craftsmanship meets cutting-edge technology, where precision is paramount and the stakes are high. But beyond the machines and the metal, it's a world built on the skill, dedication, and yes, the responsibility of the men and women who make it all happen. Whether you're a staunch supporter of the Second Amendment or a passionate advocate for gun control, it's important to understand the craftsmanship and the complexities involved in bringing a firearm to life. It's a process that demands respect, not just for the tools and techniques, but for the potential consequences of the finished product. Because at the end of the day, a gun is just a tool, and the responsibility for how that tool is used ultimately lies not with the manufacturer, but with the individual who holds it in their hands. The debate surrounding firearms is complex and emotionally charged, often overshadowing the craftsmanship and skill involved in their creation. It's easy to get caught up in the political rhetoric, the statistics, and the heart-wrenching stories that dominate the headlines. But it's crucial to remember that behind every firearm, there's a story. A story of innovation, tradition, and the human desire to shape the world around us. Understanding how guns are made doesn't provide easy answers or settle long-standing arguments, 
but it does offer a starting point for a more informed and nuanced conversation. It allows us to move beyond the simplistic narratives and engage with the issue on a deeper level. Because only by understanding the complexities of the issue can we hope to find common ground and work towards a safer, more peaceful future.